Tail. That is what well. we're talking about today. Hey, <laughs> good uh, save. Gotcha. Probably already got demonetized. Hell yeah. Woo! Oh wait, we're already are. Fuck them. Oh. Um. So recently, uh, we've done a, a handful of two towns spidery yes. videos, and they uh, reached out by email, sent us a box with some goodies in it, full of fun which we've stuff. we've now had a handful of of brands do. We super appreciate that. So not technically a sponsor. Uh, they're not allowed to see any of this before we put it out. This is still an honest review. This is the review show after exactly. all. Um, but we want to make that aware and give a shout out to them. That's really cool. We're pretty small creators. Um, we're, we're gone. We're gone. We're getting there. But it's still really cool that they did that. Um, anyways, this is like a sister company project that is still brewed by them. Uh, and it's a cocktail line. It's called Craftwell Cocktails. We've never tried this product, I don't believe. Never. Never even um, heard So of pretty exciting. We've got a cool little poster for these ones too. Pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, these, I, I'm sure there's alternative. These are non-alcoholic. Yes. That so is pretty cool. This is a non-alcoholic cocktail. We have the peach mojito. What's the other flavor they got on there? Pineapple? Pineapple margarita. I, I wish we had that one too. Uh, I'm not a big peach guy. I don't mind mint too much. I love like a Moscow mule. So, should be pretty cool. All right. Uh, Craftwell Cocktails, again, sister company of Two Towns. Oh towns. my God. Ruined Send it back. Two towns. Put it back in the box. Send it uh -oh. back. There's a dent in mine. Oh, there's a dent in mine. There's a dent here. Oh, this no, can's mingled, no. dude. Cancel the video. All right. Turn it off. Get out of here. <laughs> Anytime, uh, no proof cocktail. Uh, does this stay? Does this stay anywhere? And I don't know if it's a branding thing or maybe it's a different process. Um, on the two towns, like the main brand two towns non-alcoholic stuff we had on on the packaging mm -hmm. somewhere, it always mentions like de-alcoholized. Right. Um, I don't see that. And again, it could be a branding change because it's technically a different brand. Uh, but I. Don't see that. Yeah, it does not. It doesn't say it like it does on the uh, two towns. Serve, in serve on ice. Do you have ice in the freezer? Probably not. I don't. That'd be no. sick. We should get some ice. Okay. Um, because it says serve on ice or chilled. I would just be interested to see how much that changes. Apparently, this isn't chilled enough for real for no little princess over here. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've grabbed drinks out of coolers in the fucking middle of the summer that are colder than this. <sighs> Uh, real fruit, Pacific Northwest roots. That's super cool. Quick, Love that. quick, short, and concise ingredients list: water, apple juice, key lime juice, wow. peach puree, concentrate, mm. sugar, peach juice, peach essence, uh, natural flavors, malic acid, my favorite, and sulfates. sulfates. Which, uh, to keep it shelf stable, you legally have to have those in there. We were just talking with Tim about that recently. Yeah, we were. Um, which is, it's kind of a bummer if you're like, hey, we want like the most natural product we can. Unfortunately, like we don't want everybody to have botulism, so you gotta do something to keep oh, yeah. it shelf stable. At that point, just make it yourself and then drink it real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the bathtub, <laughs> or in, the, in the toilet, you know. <laughs> All right, here's Prison what the can style. looks like. Uh, nice can art, it looks cool. I'm not sure where you can pick these up at. Again, they sent this to me. I don't recall seeing these in any stores. It must suck living in Washington. <laughs> product, a product is subject to sweetened beverage tax in the state of Washington. Boo! Oh, boo! Boo! This is America. Uh, okay, if I want to poison myself, you're gonna fucking let me. Oh, they're supposed to crack together, dude. Sorry, my finger cramped. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right, okay, on so the on, I, on the nose, I'm going to be honest, I don't like the smell at all. <laughs> I don't like the smell at all on the nose, um, but maybe that's because I'm not really a mojito guy. A little... I don't know if I've ever had a mojito in my life. We've had a couple on the show, and they've not always been that good. And this is an N.A. mojito. I know, so I know they're going to gonna, gonna hate me for saying this. because They're, they're going like, to be a little harsh, They, they sent we're us some stuff, so they're going to be like, what the fuck, man? It, we're it smells... It smells like a like you farted in Wait. a box and then left it in Hold that on. box for three days and then somebody came in and like opened that box and it was like. <laughs> it smells like a box of peaches. Some you really ever you ever gone out and peaches? picked peaches? Yeah, put yeah, them yeah. in a box. I'm put brown, dude. In. <laughs> that was half my childhood is picking put beans your nose and peaches in there, and shit. It smells like a peach box. Yeah, mm. that's what I, it brings me to, back to memory. I'm getting more of the mint smell peaches. than I am the peach smell. Up like uh, if you get like if you just mowed your yard and you get like that fr like you hit the top of the <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. mint in your yard. All right, let's try. I'm it hoping the taste is better than the smell. That's what she said. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. 
the taste is way better than the smell. Way better. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I was nervous. I was like, we're about to shit on this, and I these guys were really too. cool and sent it to us. I was, I was, I was, I was worried this was gonna taste. <laughs> yeah, me too. Woo! Like an NA product. All right, Craftwell, you redeemed yourselves. Um, wow. Obviously, it's super natural ingredients. So like, this is kind of just like the smell that you get with this combination of things. So like, I don't, I, I, I was gonna say change the smell, but I don't know how you would do that. Um, <laughs> And I guess maybe if you're more used to a mojito, maybe this is something I smell you're used to. Uh, um, I don't. This I is, think this on just ice tastes like a craft beverage. I think I on don't. ice where you get that just little bit of like watered down to it yeah, would make would, it money. Yes, uh, and I like how they have a lot of peach ingredients in this, and this is very peach forward. You get a little of that mint, a little I of get that the mint. Key lime juice in there. I get the mint and the lime pretty strong. I also taste the peach. I'm not saying the peach isn't there peach by is any means. Peach is strong. But I get more lime and mint than I do get peach. Yeah, I would say like 60 40. It's not like a huge swing um, Yeah, I get the mint towards the middle of this little lime key lime flavor, but a lot of peach little apple This is more of a cider. This is this tastes like a good craft cider more than a mojito Which we've had a few and they've not been I've never had a mojito. I've never been a. I was never a drinker before I got on the show, so I, I can't really compare it. If you're expecting a comparison to like, well, does it taste like a mojito? But you're brown. Don't you guys have mojitos? That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm fucking tweeting about that as soon as we're on the show. Dude. Canceled, bro. I just got asked. telling Uncle Elon, bro, and you are fucked. Elon loves free speech. So do I. I cannot get over, in my opinion, and it might be me, and I am just getting over being sick, so grain of salt. I just had COVID. The The smell is not good. I know, it like, smells... the smell makes me not want to drink it, but I mean, I've already drank it, so I know it tastes good. But the smell is not inviting to me. I don't know. To me, it does. It smells like a box of peaches. It doesn't opinion. smell like to me at all. It smells like an old fart or something. Like... Or like your dog when your dog comes up and licks this. your mouth, like in the morning. Your dog <laughs> no, just woke this, up and your dog's like, <laughs> you know, oh, doesn't look, smell dude. anything like your dog friend, dude. Breath smells like a bag of dicks, dude. Get out of my face. No, this smells like fresh peaches. I don't want to eat any. You tell me where you get peaches, and I'm gonna make Why? sure I buy them somewhere else, dude. This smells like it has that a little bit of that mint. Okay, a little minty, but it smells like if I. It smells like. Like peaches, dude. Like unripe, almost. Like right before they're ripe, if you rip them open, it smells like that. Um, I have to like hold my breath a little bit when I bring it up to my mouth. <laughs> I can't do the smell. The flavor's pretty decent, though. Bro, let's talk about that real quick. I've had some drinks where you go to take that drink and it smells like dog breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? I don't know. It pisses me off because I like the drink, but then I got up. I'm like, oh. I, I do, I've had ones. Uh, I don't remember. It was. Oh man! Somewhat recently, I bought. I, I went in a store and I, I buy my go-to, mm -hmm. and then I'm like waiting in line, and they have like a, a little cooler thing, and I'm like, I've never fucking seen that for. What is that? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll fuck. I'll try one. two bucks, and I grab it, and I get in the car. And I'm like, let me. Because there's a smaller can. I was like, oh, I'll fucking drink that first, and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Ugh. And then you do this whole thing. <laughs> you try to hold it as far out the window as you can while you pour it out so it doesn't splatter on your car. <laughs> yeah, comment below if you've had that dog breath smell coming yeah, out of your weird. bottle or can or weird. cup. It's weird. Um, um, so yeah, I don't love the smell, but we're, this isn't a smell show. It's a, it's a drink show. So um, tastes great. It tastes really good. I, again, yeah. I don't know how to compare it to a mojito. But he's got that smell with this one. But it yeah, tastes good. Again, yeah, mojito, I think the mint is the only thing that's making this somewhat mojito. But for the most part, this is just a good peach cider. Yeah, yeah. And I think it would be fucking money on ice. Mm -hmm. Or even blended, maybe? Ooh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Uh -huh. Craftwell cocktails anytime drinks that ele elevate non-alcoholic beverages to new heights. These expertly blended, flavor-forward cocktails, very true, offer an exciting journey of taste exploration in every can. With Craftwell, the perfect time to celebrate with an unforgettable, refreshing cocktail is any time. Uh, like summer in a glass, any cocktail peach mojito radiates with ripe, delectable PNW peaches, <laughs> a fresh garden mint, high kick, and a snappy key lime finish. Pretty true. Oh, mint high kick. I was like, oh, it's got kick in it, so it's probably got shoes. That's why I smell like that. 
<laughs> Nobody's ever gonna send Nike us anything dude. again, dude. I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, uh, ratings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, overall, good flavor. Yep. I I don't mind the the smell at all. I mean, I it I <coughs> genuinely like all jokes aside. I genuinely don't like the smell. Um, it it is off putting to me a little bit. At um, first, I, I was well, I'm especially before I that. tasted it. I was like, yeah. uh, um, the taste does not reflect. It doesn't taste like it smells at all. No. Completely separate sides of the spectrum for me. Um, and I'm gonna try to really lean on the taste because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. You know, like if a drink smells super funky but it's bomb, like who cares? You know? Right. Um, I'll score first. I don't know how to compare this to a mojito, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna base it. I don't either. It. I've never had one. As I'm well. just gonna base it on what this is. Uh, I'll give it like a 6.7. 6 Six seven from Nick. Yep. I will go a seven six with this one. Great I, I flavor. See if you did there. <laughs> did we just? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good. Um, I think the being cold, like the colder you could drink this, so being be it on ice Very or true. blended, is going to tremendously help a drink like this. Just because there's so many things going on at once. Mm -hmm. The warmer things, when they're like a complex, like it's not just apple. It's like, hey, right. there's like three, four compounding flavors in this. The warmer drinks like that get, the more your brain, it, they separate. They, yeah. So, so your your brain's kind of like, oh, I kind of get, uh. whereas in their colder, they almost, it's weird how they come together as one more. Mm -hmm. So I would, like even just this sitting out for the few minutes it's been in my hand, it's already warmer and it's, so colder, better. I would ice. highly recommend to throw these on ice. Crushed ice even. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. So, um, huge shout out to uh, Craftwell slash Two Downs for uh, sending us this little care package. Thank you. Super it's been cool. Very good. Yeah, super cool. Really appreciate that. We got some cool uh, more posters. You guys can only see the backdrop that we spend a lot of time on, but this place is covered. Wow, the studio it is, is Who did covered that? in shit. beer memorabilia stuff. <laughs> so we got some pretty cool little unique uh, posters to put up. So, um, huge shout out to them. We love it. Yeah, guys, go check it out. Let us know if you found Craftwell cocktails anywhere. Where can we find them? Um, they're delicious. If you don't want to drink, take it to the river. Uh, take it to a show, whatever you want to do, dude. And take a picture and tag it, tag them on Instagram. What's wrong, Nick? I just really wish we knew more about Two Towns. I just really wish there was a way. Well, guess what, Nick? What? We will be going there soon huh? with the show to learn the story of Two Towns. The Beverage Hunters? The Beverage Hunters. Huh? In front of the brew? Behind the brew. That's my favorite show. The story behind the brew. And, by the way, we're going to be there uh, October 19th to the Harvest Party. The two towns invited us out there. We're going to the Harvest Party. Hopefully this guy will be there. We're going to be filming, and there's going to be a whole bunch of cool stuff to do there, dude. I'm excited for that. Now it's really going to be a party. October 19th. If you can make it, come out and say hi to us. We'll be there. And uh, we're going to have a blast. I'll sign your boobs. We're going to drink a lot of cider. Hopefully we have a driver. If not, we're sleeping in the car. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring my hammock. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll just drink this, dude. We'll just drink all, the, all their hammock. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, yeah. have them bring out a pallet of this. Yeah. Use it as a bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah, bye. Bye, guys.